Now we're going to make a puppet. It's going to be a kind of a flying fairy puppet. It's a nice addition to any kind of puppet show. It um, kind of adds an effect to your regular hand puppets. It's going to be actually hanging on a string. And let me show you the supplies that we're going to need to make our fairy, our flying fairy. We're going to need two types of styrofoam balls. Now I chose to use a styrofoam ball that's in the shape of an egg because when it's attached to the smaller piece of styrofoam it actually looks more uh, like a body. But you could also just use two round shapes, one bigger than the other. But if you can get a um, egg-shaped styrofoam ball that would definitely be ideal. And we're going to need a scissors as well as pipe cleaners. We're going to need three pipe cleaners. One is going to be used to attach the head to the body and the other two are going to be used for the arms and the legs. We're going to need a thick piece of plastic. This is going to be used to cut out the shape of the wings and attach to the body of the fairy. We're going to need a sharp tool to make a hole in the plastic. I've chose to use an X-Acto knife, but any kind of sharp point will do. I have a small ring. Now this ring is going to be used to hold the string where the fairy is going to be hanging on the bottom. So the ring is actually just going to um, be placed around your finger so that you can move the puppet back and forth. I have a bunch of markers that I'm going to use to decorate the fairy and I'm going to have some scraps on hand of some pieces of felt. Those are also going to be used for decorations. I'm going to need some color pins. They're going to be used for the, some of the facial features and also to hold the hair, the string that's going to be wrapped around the head that's going to make up the hair. So um, these pins are actually made of plastic. They're sharp but they're not, um, they don't penetrate the skin so easily so they're not so dangerous. I'm going to be using some white glue and a paintbrush to apply the white glue. I'm going to need some string. Here I have some clear fishing line. It's, um, it's recommended to use a clear string because while, it's, while you're flying it back and forth, you won't be able to see the string. It'll create more of an effect like it's flying in the air. And I'm going to need some beads. I'm going to need about 20 to 30 beads. These beads should be big enough to fit over the pipe cleaner because they're going to be used for the arms and the legs. And they um, should also be the same color because, of the, because they're going to be used for the arms and legs. You want to keep it consistent. And I'll also need some, um, it's like a crocheting yarn that is going to be used for the hair. I chose to use a color that has a little bit of a uh, blend, a mix of two colors and this will just create more of an effect when we put it onto the head as uh, for the hair. It'll uh, create a, just a nicer look to it. So those are going to be the supplies that we're going to need to create our flying fairy puppet today.